So this class is a continuation of that perpendicular tree transition that we've been working on. Uh, we're going to be practicing those weight shifts. We're going to be putting on the brakes. We're going to see what works for our bodies and have a little bit of fun on the way. We already established the foundation. This time around, we're going to be finding that flow and having a little bit of fun with it. So we're going to be adding some new stuff as well here. So let's begin on our backs. And let's go ahead and extend our arms overhead, point through your toes, reach out long through those fingertips, maybe turn your palms in towards one another and out to the sides of the room. Maybe bring your arms out to the side like a T and then bring them back overhead. Just stretch in whatever way feels good for you as we arrive here on our mats and in our practice. And then let's bring our legs off to the left side. You can bring your right ankle on top of the left if you'd like. Reach around for that right wrist and send it off to the left side. Gaze can go over to the right, kick that right hip off to the side. And let's bring it through center. Legs come off to the right side. Option to stack left on top. Reach your arms over to the right. Big arc through the left side of our body. Let's bring it back center, bend your knees, cross your right ankle over the left, little figure four, and then let the sole of your right foot come down off the left side. Move back through center, uncross, left ankle cross, the same thing, bring the sole of your foot off to the right. And let's do this once more on each side, over to the left. and over to the right. Let's bring it back through center. We're gonna lie on our side. So we're keeping a bend through our knees and placing our elbow just below our shoulder. We wanna keep our legs stacked and our tailbone tucked under here. So what we're gonna do is come into a side plank with the knees down. So press down into your forearm, press down into your shin and lift your hip up off of the ground. So strong press away of the floor, nice and strong through this left side body and lower it down. Again, press down, lift and lower. Press down, lift and lower. This time we're gonna add the leg here. So press down, lift up and then open up. We're squeezing our butt. Glute med, working hard on both sides. Lower it down and open it up. Let's lower down, keep your tail tucked under, lift it up down up down and up this time stay up and hold we're going to take a little pulse so a tiny lower tiny lift feet stay together tail stays tucked under low ribs drawn in three two one and lower it down from here place that right knee up towards the ceiling circle up into a seat left knee can come up Let's just windshield wipe side to side. Give everything a little break. And then we're gonna come down on the right side. So I'm gonna just turn this way so that I can still see you guys. So elbow underneath the shoulder, palm flat, forearm on the ground, bend through your knees, find that press down, lift the right hip up. You're pressing your right knee, right forearm down to the ground and lower. Let's lift up and lower down. We're waking up our core, we're waking up our side body, waking up those glutes, because we are going to use all of those things throughout our class as we transition. Okay, this time as we lift up, we're opening that top knee and lower. Press down, lift, lower, three. We're gonna do five of these, four, and five, lift, hold. We're gonna take those little pulses. So slightly lowering the hip and then lifting it back up. It should be burning. That's what we're looking for. Keep that tail tucked under. Stay strong in your press away from the floor with your right arm and keep those low ribs drawn in. Three, two, one, and lower it down. Come back up into a seated position, knees up towards the ceiling, and windshield wipe them side to side. Okay. 
sit up, draw your knees in towards your chest, and then take a few rock and rolls. Just coming back, using a little bit of momentum. And on this last one, we're gonna come through into a plank. If you didn't get there, get there however, however you see fit to do so, and then send your hips high, downward facing dog. Bend your knee, one and then the other. Maybe kicking your hips side to side. Draw your heels down towards the floor, lift up through those sits bones, and then rise up on the balls of the feet. Bend your knees, untuck your toes, send your hips toward your heels, take a little wiggle side to side. And then draw your hands back as you come into a kneeling position at the back of your mat. We're gonna bring our left hand out to the side. It's gonna be in line with my left knee. Shift your hips forward, send your right leg out long, tuck your tail, so press your hips forward, and then lift your right arm up towards the ceiling. From here, we're floating our right leg. I want you to make sure that your toes are turned down towards the floor. So lift it up about an inch or two and slightly lower. Lift and lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, two more. Find that lift and that lower. Last one, lift it up, lower it down. This time as you lift it up, bend your knee and take a step forward. As you do this, you're gonna come up onto your fingertips on your left side, square yourself up, and then bring your arms up overhead. You wanna be mindful of your hips. You want them level and in line with one another. For me, right hip needs to shift down a little bit and back a little bit. Left hip needs to shift up and forward. Think about scissoring those inner thighs towards one another rather than pressing your legs away from each other. It's as if your heel is going to meet your back knee. Lift those arms up, take a breath in. And as you exhale, cactus through your arms, begin to straighten through your front leg and then reach your arms out in front of you, palms up. Pull those right toes back towards your face. Let's reverse our circle. So arms come back around, make sure that your left toes are tucked under and then float that back knee up off the ground as you lift your arms up. Alanasana, high lunge. Take a breath in here. And as you exhale, cactus through those arms, straighten both of your legs, send your hips back, send your arms out in front of you. This is a long pyramid pose. This requires a lot out of our balance. So make adjustments as you need to do so. Right hand's going to stay forward, bend through your front knee. Your back heel's going to spin down to your mat as you circle open with your left arm. Warrior two. From here, we're gonna come into that perpendicular tree. So a few different ways that you can do this. You can heel toe your front foot all the way back to that back foot and then come into your tree. You might take some little hops, little tombays, all the way to the back and then find your tree. You might shorten your stance a little bit and then pop up finding that tree or you might be ready to just go for it. I like to reach forward here and then counterbalance, shifting my weight to the back to come right on up. If you want, float your left hand, right hand to the knee, try to stay externally rotated, and then reach toward the front of your mat. Arms come parallel to the floor, take a generous step out to the side, both of our feet are facing the long edge. Arms rise up, turn to face the back, Fingertips come down to the ground, glide across the long edge of your mat, pivot to face the front. Your right heel floats up towards the ceiling, bend your knees, stack your hip open, and then square back up, letting your right knee find the floor. Left knee follows, hips to heels, coming back into your kneeling position. Opposite side, right hand in line with the right knee off the side of our mat, hips shift forward, left leg extends. Left arm reaches up, Paragasana gate pose perpendicular to our mat. Give your left toes a lift, try to lead with your heel and pulse up towards the ceiling. We're gonna pulse about five times and then bend that knee, step it forward, make sure your toes are facing forward, rise up onto the fingertips on the right side, square yourself up, square those hips, get them level, get them in line, Anjanayasana, low lunge. Cactus through your arms, send your hips back, straighten through your front leg, palms up as you reach the arms forward. 
Alanasana, high lunge. So bend through your front leg once again. Tuck your back toes, lift that back knee up, arms rise. Same thing with those hips, try to square yourself up. Cactus through your arms, straighten through your front leg, send your arms forward. Keep your left arm reaching forward as you bend through that front knee, back heel spins down, Le right arm circles open, warrior two. Perpendicular tree pose, however we want to get there. Maybe you're reaching and coming back. Maybe you're heel towing. Maybe you're finding that shorter stance. Maybe you're doing something in between, a combination of the three. However works for you, works for me. Left hands to the knee, right arm reaches, knees pressing towards the back of the room. Arms come parallel to the floor as you step out to your star. Reach your arms up overhead, pivot to face the back, fold over that back leg. Try to keep your legs pretty straight. Glide your fingertips across the long edge of your mat. Pivot all 10 of your toes to face forward. Press the hands into the floor. Send your left heel high, bend your knees, stack your hip open, square it up. Left knee finds the floor, right knee follows, hips to heels right back into our kneeling position. So there we have it. Now we're gonna smooth this out and let one piece flow directly into the other. Left hand comes off the left side of your mat, hips shift forward, right leg extends. Lift the right arm up, lift those right toes. We're gonna pulse for three and two and one. Step that right foot forward, arms rise. Anjani Asana, cactus. Sit the hips back, straighten through your front leg. Ardha Hanumanasana, half split. Alanasana, high lunge. So bend, tuck, lift, arms rise up. Cactus, long pyramid, straighten that front leg. Drive your fingertips forward. Keep reaching with the right hand. Bend through your front knee, circle open. Heel finds the floor. Warrior two. Perpendicular tree pose. However, works for you. you. Find that position in your body. Step wide, arms rise. Pivot to face the back, fold, glide across, pivot to face the front. Right heel rises, bend and stack. Square, knee finds the floor, right hand to the side, directly into our perpendicular gait. Lift the toes, pulse a few times, lead with the heel, one, Step forward, arms rise, cactus, straighten the leg, rise it back up, tuck, lift, cactus, straighten the leg, reach out in front, keep reaching, bend, heel finds the floor, open through your right arm, find your perpendicular tree, I like to put a generous bend through my back knee, make sure that your toes are facing the same direction your knees are facing if you do that. Arms parallel, step wide. Arms rise, look to the back, fold over, glide across, pivot, left heel goes high, bend and stack. Again, left knee down, left hand out, right leg out. Right arm lifts, right leg lifts, step it directly forward. Arms rise, cactus, half split. Raise those arms back up, tuck, lift, cactus, straighten, keep reaching, bend, spin open, taking it to the back, tree, step wide, arms rise, face the back, fold, glide, pivot, right heel rises, bend and stack, square, knee to the ground, Right hand out, left leg out, left hand up, left leg up. Step forward, on Janae. Cactus, half split, reach out in front. Bringing it up, high lunge, arms rise. Cactus, straighten, hips shift back. Keep reaching, bend, heel finds the floor, arm spins open. Finding that perpendicular tree pose, controlled. Stepping wide, arms rise, look to the back, 
fold, glide, pivot, heel, stack, square. Last time, perpendicular gait, stepping forward into our low lunge. Straightening, sitting back into our half split. Bending, coming into our high lunge. Straightening, finding our long pyramid. Reaching, bending, opening, warrior two. Directly back into our tree. Stepping wide, arms rise, face the back, fold, glide, and pivot. Right heel rises, stack, square, knee finds the floor, perpendicular gates, lift everything up, step it forward, arms rise, low lunge, half split. Bend and rise, Alanasana high lunge, cactus, straighten, reach, keep reaching, bend, heel to floor, spin open, find your tree, Step wide, arms rise, look to the back, fold, glide, pivot, send that heel high, bend and stack open. This time as you square back up, I want you to shift forward towards a plank and then send your left toes off to the right side. You might need to glide them forward and then lower your left hip down towards the floor. From here, we're sitting onto both of our glutes, okay? So your back toes are gonna spin up towards the ceiling. We're in a wide leg position uh, on either side of that back corner of your mat. You can sit up here, maybe shift forward, take a little fold forward, make sure your toes are up towards the ceiling and maybe slightly open back behind you. Let's sit it back up, put a bend through your right leg, cross your left ankle over top and take a little rock side to side, place your hands wherever they need to be. And then let that left foot come down to the floor off the right side of your mat. So we're gonna exit into a malasana. This transition is going to require you to pivot towards the front. So I'm placing my right hand down on the ground, pressing into my foot to lift up my hip. You need to make sure you have enough room to get this back knee out from behind your heel. So if you need to step your foot forward, step it forward. Tuck your back toes, lift that back knee up, and then spin open, finding that malasana yogi squat. You might be off the side of your mat like me. If that's the case, that's all right. Don't sweat it. We've got time to bring ourselves back into the center. So let's bring our arms out in front here. You're gonna lift your hips up ever so slightly. Your left knee is going to come down towards center line. So we've got this internal rotation happening. Lift it back up and then your right knee comes down towards center line. Again, bring it down on the left side and down on the right side. And once more, left to right. And now we're gonna come down into our internal rotation. So your left knee comes down. You might need to bring your hands forward a little bit. Your right knee is going to come down to meet it. So knees together, heels apart. You can keep your toes tucked. Maybe you need to bring them in a little bit and then shift your hips toward your heels. Maybe a little rock side to side. I really like to round through my back here, especially tucking under through my tail, creating space in the back of the hips here. And then shift forward, toes touch, shift hips toward the heels. If you're off your mat still, take a little shift back towards center. Come forward through your tabletop, tuck your toes, send your hips high, downward facing dog. Go ahead and lift your right heel up, bend and stack, square up, and then kick that right leg underneath, dropping your right hip down toward the floor. Strong press away for just a moment. And once that hip comes down, we're gonna sit onto our booty and turn our toes up toward the ceiling. Come forward into this. If you wanna widen your stance, widen it up. Keep toes flexed, fold it forward. And then rise back up. Your left knee comes in. Hands are gonna come down behind you, right ankle crosses over top, left thigh, 
little rock side to side before allowing the right foot to land down on the outside of the left side of your mat. Press down, lift up. We've got to unhook, okay? So shift that knee over if you need to. Those right toes, they might be facing directly out to the side. If that's the case, turn them so that they're towards the top corner of your mat. Tuck your left toes, lift the left knee up, and then windshield wipe open, sitting down into your malasana on this side. Hands are gonna come down in front, tailbone lifts ever so slightly, right knee comes in, followed by the left, right to left, and again, right to left. This time as your right knee comes down, let it stay. Left knee is gonna come down next to it. If you need to walk your hands forward, walk them forward. If you need to bring your toes in a little bit, bring them in, shift your hips back, little rock side to side. Shift forward, big toes touch, hips to heels, child's pose. Square yourself up on your mat. Now, if there is anything else that you'd like to work out in your body, some poses that you want to add, maybe some inversions, some core work, anything at all, now's your time to do it. Let's walk our hands back toward our knees, coming into a kneeling position. Give your shoulders a roll down and back. Find that length through the crown of your head. Pull your chin in ever so slightly. Let's take a deep breath in. Full expansion, bottom to top. And as you exhale, softness through the shoulders. Deep breath in, left to right expansion, space in between every one of your ribs. Breath out, soften. And breath in, forward back. and out. This last one is where we put it all together. So extend your arms out to the side as you take a deep breath in, filling up top to bottom, side to side, and front to back. And exhale, gather it in, hands in heart center. Take a moment, acknowledge your practice, express some gratitude to your body. Release those hands and open up your eyes if they were closed. And that's going to wrap it up for us today. So thank you for being here. Any questions, any comments, any ways that I can support your practice, go ahead and reach out to me in the comment thread below. If you'd like to see more from me, like and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to connect outside of YouTube, Instagram is the best way to do that. Hashtag is at STM underscore yoga. I'd love for you to join in the conversation around those parts. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And we'll see you here again soon.